Hello and welcome to This O Geek. In this video I am finishing the co-join pumpkins that I had started in earlier videos on my channel. Which you can check those out and, and uh, subscribe while you're at it. Check out my other videos. I started with the stems and I'm smoothing them out here. I'm dipping my, my fingers in the water and smoothing them. And that tool that you see here, it's just a sculpting tool and I'm using it to make the grooves in the stem to make it look like an actual stem and here I just drew the faces onto the uh, the uh, armature and now I am applying paper clay this is homemade paper clay that I made I also have a recipe for that on my uh, channel which I actually got from other places. I just add my own things to it. Now I don't always do the faces exactly, or my whenever I do a sculpture, it doesn't always turn out completely exactly. I mean, I do make changes along the way. I get different ideas, and I just make changes, which is fine. You know, I never really know how these are going to turn out. I just do them. And I'm working on the teeth here, finishing that up. And here I am doing the sections, or segments. I'm not sure what they're called on pumpkins. But uh, I used actually quite a bit of uh, clay on those. I actually went through like three batches of clay trying to finish this project. Now, I put it on pretty thick, and it took quite a while to dry. By the way... I let the pumpkin dry when I do the stems. I let them, I let it dry, and then I did the faces, and then I let them dry, and then I worked on the segments. And uh, and the, you see the one uh, face to the left there. I let that dry before I started working on the one to the right. Now it takes a while when you're putting that much clay on. It takes a while for it to dry. You have to wait like a, like several days. As you can see here, I'm putting it on pretty thick, and I had to let it dry for quite a while after I did the segments all the way around on the pumpkins. Like I said, I put it on pretty thick, and when I was all done, I had to do this all the way around the pumpkins. I had to let it dry for several days before I did anything else. Uh, I started doing the back side here, and I let the uh, one side dry completely before I started working on the other side. And then when it was all done, I let it completely dry. I started painting it with a latex interior primer. And when that dried, I started applying orange craft paint. Well, this is actually a mixture of red and yellow that I had left. I didn't have very much pumpkin orange. Because I use it on other projects, so I used the darker orange as a base coat, and then I just painted the uh, the pumpkin orange color on top of that, which, as you can see, is a lighter and brighter color. And I did about yeah, you know, I did about three coats of that all the way around. I was being kind of cheap. I didn't really want to run out and buy another one. Now here I'm mixing brown and wintergreen craft paint and mixing them out to get a certain color which I was satisfied with and I used it to paint the stems. So I painted the stems all the way around, and then I let them dry, and when that was all dry, I flipped it over and painted the bottom with the whatever pumpkin, uh, pumpkin orange I had left. And after doing a little touching up, here's my finished product. And I covered it with a coat of polyacrylic, which is like an acrylic clear coat. It's clear matte. It's water-based. So I wanted to give it a little bit of a shine. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe to my channel and have a great day.